While the International Francophonie Day comes as the world faces a COVID-19 pandemic, the Secretary General of the International Organization of Francophonie, Louise Mushichiwawo, says the courage which women have portrayed during these difficult times is what has fueled us to specifically celebrate them on this day. C'est à vous. As the Secretary General of the International Organization of Francophonie, I would like to dedicate this day to the women in the Francophonie community who have endured the effects of this pandemic as they have also been felt in the health sector, economic and political sector across the world. You have managed to strive even with the losses you faced in the small businesses by coming up with innovations through which you've used in providing a sustainable well-being to your families. Et parfois vos communautés. Est-ce que l'égalité femme et homme est un droit fondamental? Some of the young French students and volunteers that were sent to Rwanda by the Rwanda Francophonie Organization with the aim of teaching the language to young people say they have come to a better understanding of the importance of speaking more than one language. It is a really good opportunity opportunity to write a magazine and it helps other people to read what we can do and it is the parents helps us to develop our magazines so that we can we can know both languages of English English and French it gives us more confidence our parents are very proud of us it makes us feel as if we want to continue and make it better it's it gives us it gives us much happiness to see our names in a book that is going to be published and if in everybody in the world can see it. Teaching children French is a francophonie program supported in Rwanda by the French Association of Journalists OPFR. We are celebrating with uh, OEF uh, this day and one of our activities was the production of this kind of uh, newspaper written by very young children almost 11 between 11 and 15 years so these are the the guys who wrote these this uh, newspaper and we have very interesting topics within this uh, newspaper so uh, our priority is to train francophone journalists first of all in their everyday work and then train and promote French wherever it is used in everyday life. The International Francophonie Day was also celebrated in the Rwanda Parliament virtually. The Senate President, Dr. Auguste Iamuremye, says the essence of Francophonie organization is not only about the usage of the French language. The future of Francophonie is not just based on language, but shared values. The language is just a way to help us achieve this. Rwanda has achieved so many things in terms of development, while also looking forward to learn more from other countries. The 2021 International Day of the Francophonie was celebrated under a theme, Francophonie Woman, Resilient Woman. Honorable Mukandere Efrigeni says it is equally important for this theme to be taken seriously in Rwanda as significant progresses have been made in terms of defending the women's rights. In Rwanda, enough laws have been put in place to defend a woman's rights. We want to work with other countries to make sure that women are empowered and supported while facing challenges throughout life. On this day, a Rwandan woman who also has a French nationality, Beata Umbiei Maris, was awarded a prize called Le Prix des Cinq Continents de la Francophonie for a book she wrote called Tous tes enfants dispersés, which means all children scattered.